Welcome back guys. In this video I will show you how to get the three place stealth vest in less than 20 minutes. That is unless you die of course. There is no requirement for your character to do this. You can literally do it without any starting gear. That being said I do have a few tips for you if you want to make your life a little easier. First of all, there is currently a bug in the game so that when you enter the Koshe complex there is a chance that you will lose all your weapon ammo. For that reason I always do this once with an ammo box equipped. Also, you want a short slash medium range weapon for fending off players and killing bots. As of today, the best weapon in my opinion is the Cronin Scroll. Okay, so you load into Almasa with your weapon of choice and an ammo box. Now you want to locate the nearest car and start moving north up to the Koshe complex entrance in the desert. You want to use this entrance because there's a shortcut to the factory part of the complex when you go this way. More on this later. So while traveling to this entrance you need to pick up two items, a car battery and jumper cables. You need those two items to enter the Alpha Cluster. The car battery and jumper cables you can find in gas stations and in supermarkets. All in all, traveling through Almasa should take maximum 5 minutes. Once you are into the Koshe complex, there is a few things you want to look out for. You want to find a pair of infrared goggles for being able to see in the chemical plant part of the map. You want one can of acetic acid for trading for a tempered vest. Also you want one can of chlorine plus a roll of black server tape that you need to trade for the stealth vest. Additionally, you want to find the two keys that allow you to use the shortcut between the defense research and factory. All of these items except for the black server tape will be found in the first part of the map where you load in. It's called the Defense Research Division. This is why you use the desert entrance. The black server tape will be found in the Alpha Cluster part of the complex. The Defense Research Division is divided into three sections with radiation in each of them. First you get to section 1, then you move on to section 2 and finally section 3. As you progress, the sections get harder. The way the sections work are that they are radiated as long as a gate to a contaminated side room is open. There are four gates in each section leading to four rooms that may or may not be radiated. Acetic acid and chlorine are common drops in these side rooms. I keep checking them until I find one of each. Besides acetic acid and chlorine, there's nothing interesting in the first section. I usually just check the two open rooms and then close the gates and move on to the next section. The second section spawn bots. They are easy to handle. In addition, there are three open gates and one closed gate. Behind the closed gate is a key you need for the shortcut later.
Next is section 3. This one has a few more bots and there's also a sentry gun. What I do here is kill a few bots and then jump in behind the sentry gun and deal with it from behind. Like in section 2, there are 3 open gates and a closed one with a key behind it. Check the other rooms as needed. After the three sections of defense research, we use the two keys we picked up earlier to open this door that allows us to move straight into the factory admin part of the complex. This is the shortcut. This is important since it allows us to skip going into the chemical plant and look for the factory admin key. It saves time and it's a lot less risky. The shortcut is streamlined and it's impossible to get lost. When you reach the factory admin area, there's a shop right below us, where we can barter the acetic acid for a tempered plate carrier. You exit the factory admin area the way you would normally enter and head straight to the opposite side of the chemical plant. Factory admin is located to the north, alpha cluster to the south. When you reach the entrance to Alpha Cluster, you need to look for a light spot on the wall, between the two big gates. There you will put the car battery and the jumper cables. After that you can open the gates. I always open both because it makes a lot of noise and is scary for other players.
Once in Alpha Cluster, you head right, and right under the part where there's sentry guns, there's a lot of O-style data machines. These contain server tape, orange, black, red, I haven't found silver yet, but it's probably also here. I always find one to two black if I go here. Once you have picked up the black tape, head back to the vendor and factory admin. Do the barter and then exfil. I use the exfil in Alpha Cluster since it's the safest one. And that's it. Stealth West in less than 20 minutes, unless you get ranked by other players. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Ultra One, be advised, threats are moving. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. Ultra One, we have visual on your location.